Hey, witches. So, I found this list of animals, and I thought it was interesting. I wanted to share it with you. It's written by this dude. <laughs> His name is up there, and his picture is up there. It's a cool picture. I don't really know how to pronounce the name. I'll probably butcher it, but, uh, yeah, that's his name. And then he uh, lists his pronouns there and some information about him. And for some reason, it says, not a blog for white supremacists. Nothing on this site has to do anything with um, white supremacists on this specific, like, witchcraft branch of Tumblr. So I don't know why he says that, but I thought it was funny, and I would point it out. I will also put this link in the description in case you want to contact him for any reason. You could ask him why he says that. But <laughs> it's a, a list of crystals, not animals, but a list of crystals for different animals. And I thought it was cool. So if you have one of these as a pet or you have like squirrels in your yard, you could decorate with their crystals. Maybe if deer come to your yard. I just thought it was cool, and of course, your pets. So, he made a list, and it says that the stones can be used to represent the energy of the animal type or to heal the animal. And it's based on his own intuition and what he's read about them. And this guy, he has some good stuff. I have a bunch of his pages like this bookmark. It's all good. It's it, it's just good stuff. I don't know where he gets it, really, but it's I like it. So, he's got the cute little kid picture there. Ooh, what I'm doing. Okay, um, so for any mammals, the cats, dogs, horses, small creatures like mice and hamsters and your squirrels would, would fall under that category. I know you know what a mammal is. So, um... If you had any pets, like we have a um, hamster, so I'll put some of my some of my probably my rose quartz in there. Maybe tape it to the back of the cage. I don't know about putting something inside the cage because they chew, but I don't think they could really chew on a piece of of rounded quartz. We'll have to see what I do, but I think that's a a cool one to add for a for a pet because it also provides love for them and the black tourmaline would be good to help with their anxiety too pretty cool so and i'll put this link in the description so you can you know have it so for birds he's got the gorgeous blue jay up there and then um he lists parrots and macaws it's kind of odd why he only lists two of those <laughs> two different birds and just a few mammals if i had written this i probably would just have left that off and just put mammals and birds but maybe he just has had experience with those animals and these crystals i'm not sure but anyway he's got that so if you have birds to put around their cage i would not put a crystal inside of a cage with a bird because they probably would peck it their beaks are extremely strong you know that if you'd ever been bitten by like a parrot it, it sucks <laughs> but um moonstone is on there so if you were really good at um pottery or crafting you could make some type of bird bath with um cement maybe pour a I don't know that's a lot of work but you could even maybe order one to have one made for you with these crystals and a bird bath that would be a good idea or even make a bird house with wood and then decorate it with these crystals put these crystals around your trees in your yard we just have a ton of birds and I love it. I love watching the birds. We feed the birds. We have hummingbirds come. It's awesome. So there's one of those weird things. I can't. I can't. Is is it an axolotl? Is that is that what that is? I think it is. Yeah, he's got the name of it there. 
So, um, for fish and amphibians, got them listed there. He's had mold bite on almost everyone. Interesting. So you could put, you could even put some of these, like the clear quartz. I could take just some big um, tumbled stones I have of clear quartz and just drop them down into the water. Just wash them really good first. And then put them in there. Maybe um, program them to just keep the fish healthy and happy. It's kind of cool. Oh, what a cool picture of a lizard. What kind of lizard is that? Cool. We went to the zoo yesterday and have mixed feelings about the zoo, but it was for my daughter's birthday. So we had some, about 30 people with us and we went and they had just fed the, I've, I've been waiting to see this thing eat for years and years, but they had just fed the snakes and it was the eight foot Burmese python was eating. I think it was a, a rabbit, um, I'm not 100% sure, but it was kind of crazy. But I've seen them eat, eat like that before, and nobody else wanted to watch it but me. <laughs> I don't like to watch the mammal get killed or whatever they're feeding it get killed, but I do like to watch it open its jaws. It's just so cool. Snakes fascinate me. So you've got those. I've had several pet snakes, ball pythons and others. And I would have had, just added these crystals into the cage, some of them. And then next time I get another one, I will do the same thing. There's a mold divide again. A lot of those that he's listed for the reptiles are green. That's interesting. Look at that. Oh my gosh, what a cute moth. Look how fat and furry it is. It looks fake. It's not fake, though, I don't think. That is so cute. <laughs> so for them, and we have some uh, monarch caterpillars that are, that are going to go through this stage. I'll have to add some clear quartz in for them, too. There's a mold right again. So that's it. There's a part of the bottom where he has where you can um, contact the NAACP. And if I, if I was you, I would. I've done this. So um, you can do that. It's about uh, police brutality. And the more people that contact, the better. It's a, a last of um, ends. You're not contacting the NAACP. It's helping the NAACP. You're contacting the U.S. So just copy all this. He's even got what to say. All you got to do is copy that and then send it to one of those. So anyway, that's all I have, which is and blessed be.